Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me. I am super excited to make this video for you because I have such a cool topic for you. Of course, I love Lucy because that's what we're going to do. But I got 32 pictures. These are rarely seen photos of Lucio Ball. Some are with Desi Arnaz, but it's primarily Lucio Ball. And you'll see Desi Arnaz, you'll even see Gary Morton, you'll see Desi Jr. and Lucy Jr. as I call her in a loving way, of course. And uh, hopefully you enjoy these photos. I'll do a little bit of commentary just on the photos as they're scrolling by. Let me know which one's your favorite. Have you seen most of these? Have you never seen some of these? I would really like to know in the comments. I did a little bit of research in terms of information and what they're at. And uh, I just want to do some corrections uh, in terms of dates and things like that. I'm going to add my two cents and I'll explain it as I'll go along. Let's get to the first photo and hopefully you like what we're doing. All right, so this is the first photo. It goes all the way back to 1936. In this photo, Lucio Ball was 26 years old. Now, it's a great photo because you can see her in a very pretty heels and a kind of a fashion style dress. And look at that hat. That is so 1930s. But this was after she played the part in Three Little Pigskins. That's a short by the Three Stooges. And it's just interesting to see her in this mode. Look how just young she looks. And it's a great picture if you ask me. Now if we move on to the next photo, this is from 1936 as well. She is drawing eyebrow makeup on a boxer. This boxer's name is Raxi Rosenblum. Maxi, excuse me, M-A-X-I-E. And this is on the set of Muss Em Up. Muss em Up. This is a movie that they starred in, and of course they're having a little bit of fun in the dressing room. And this is great. This is before Lucille Ball was married. Remember, she married Desi Arnaz in 1940, so of course uh, she was leading the single life. And so this is pretty cool, and uh, it's kind of a candid shot, so I like it. Moving on to 1938, a few years down, look at Lucy. Look at her haircut. Looks how it's changing for the 40s. It's almost the 40s, but here she's sipping on a shake, some type of strawberry, maybe milkshake. And it seems to me that she's um, just sucking on tons of straws, like it's like five or six straws that she's holding on to. It's kind of funny, kind of amusing. And I mean, look at those 30 styles clothing. I mean, this is fantastic and great to look at. Now, if we move on to the next photo, this is from a radio program called The Phil Baker Show. Now, this is probably one of my favorite Lucy hairstyles. Look how gorgeous she looks just with her hair strung back like that. And of course, even though she was beautiful, this is a radio show and couldn't get to see much of her. But even with that, I mean, she was a great, great actress. Now, this photo is interesting because this is 1939, almost a year before she got married to Desi. And she is dressed up in this kind of corset type dress. And this is apparently for a portrait by Laszlo Willinger. And so she's posing for that image. But I just like the way that she looks, her kind of serious stoic smile off into the distance. I mean, it's a great little caricature. And I can tell you, I've never seen the shot before. So it is a great one, in my opinion. Moving on to the sixth photo. This is 1940. Now, to me, I kind of call this into question because the reason I would say this is because she's in a really big swimming pool. This is 1940, although she has started movies and... She has, I don't know, maybe she's like a D-list actress, maybe even C-list actress. Like, she isn't great in terms of her popularity here. But it seems like this is probably her house. But I could be mistaken. It does look like it's later in the 40s. Remember, I Love Lucy was 1951. And uh, this is 11 years before that. And so I don't know, but I do love her in a swimsuit. Look at that. That is the most skin I think I've ever seen on Lucy. And of course, with a more conservative look, with kind of pants in 1941, I mean, that was pretty unusual to see in the day. And apparently this is the latest fashions, and it's called an akimbo? Arms akimbo? I don't know what that means, but I kind of wanted to look up what this fashion design is, and apparently that's what it is. Now, 1943 brought this photo. That guy on the left is Charles Walters. It's, um, they're kind of doing a few dance numbers. They're kind of practicing. It's for Dewberry Was a Lady. It's apparently a production that they were doing. And, well, by this time, she was already a married woman. And look at those long, long pants. I mean, they really accentuate her legs. But it's a great, great photo, in my opinion. 
Now here we see Lucy is more of a movie star type figure. I mean, look at, I guess, the boa stuff that she's wearing. But I mean, this is a pretty star studded event. This is 1944. She's putting orchids into her hair because she is gonna perform for uh, the president, Franklin D. Roosevelt at the time, his 60th birthday. That is crazy. And I don't know what she performed. If you guys knew or know, just let me know. I'd like to hear. Moving on to 1945, we of course know the Marx Brothers. She seems to go way back with them back in the 30s, playing opposite them as well in room service, I believe is that called? You can correct me by the room or room service. And this is 1945 with Groucho Marx. This is at CBS's KNX Radio Studios. So they are just hamming it up here for the camera, looking really great. Now this is the first photo, 1950 with Desi. Now, the great thing about this one is, of course, it's in color. Now, this does look like caricature Desi and Lucy in a car. Like, it is great. I don't know if it's 51. I would go with it and say I'd, I'd, I have no problem saying that's 1950, excuse me. And um, apparently the convertible's peach, and they are having a ball. That's what it looks like. Now, another 1950 photo. This is at Ciro's Nightclub. It's a very popular nightclub here in the 50s in West Hollywood, California. So look at that, look at her dress there, and of course her exposed shoulders. Kinda cool to see that in the 50s. Now this photo is 1950 as well, but this is at home. So this is their family home, you know, their, their, their home where they raise their children. They have, I can see what, three dogs in that photo? At least two. Yes, it seems like three. There's one right behind Lucy, right next to her lap. Um, yeah, and they are Cocker Spaniels, so it's great to see him at home, and it's funny because Desi's outfits are very similar to what he had on the show. Seems like he wasn't pretending in that regard. Here's another photo, 1950, not yet on I Love Lucy. They're blowing out the candles on some type of cake, some type of celebration, maybe their wedding anniversary, 10 years, because it would be 1950. I can't really read the cake, but maybe that. Now here is 1953, the first photo of them, uh, the first rare photo that I am showing you from I Love Lucy, meaning this was when they were making the show. This was probably the third season, maybe late second season, where they already had Desi Jr., as you can see right there. And apparently he's, in, he's, he's pretty young there, so that's a few months into it. So this is probably season two somewhere right in the back. Maybe um, No Children Allowed episode, something like that. And it's really nice to see that come through in the photo. Moving on to 1955, that's how this photo is billed or credited. I don't know if I trust that. You can really see a lot of wrinkles on her face and in 55, I'm trying to think, well that is what the episode's going to season four and five. And so that would be like the European trip and she does not look the same, even her hairstyle's different. So I would say this is later, maybe even 56, 57, but that would more on the 57 side. But you guys can correct me on that. I'll go with 55, but we will see. Apparently, Lucy Arnaz is in the photo, or Lucy Arnaz Jr. And uh, I don't really see her, but I think it's the head right next to Lucy. Now, 1955, I would say this is more accurate, but I would even say this is earlier, probably 52. The reason is Desi. He looks fairly thin and very wrinkleless. I would say by season four, end of season four and season five, he starts to kind of swell up his face. He starts to get a little bigger. And this does not look like that to me. So this is their LA home and they're reading and relaxing. Of course, Lucy's smoking. But to me, this is not 55. What do you guys think? Okay, moving on to 1955. I would say this is more accurate because look at her hair. Maybe a little later than this. But this is their New York house. Now look at that bedroom. Look at that huge drapes that they have on the back. This is the Hilton Hotel. I didn't know they lived there. That is crazy. Now this I know is 1956. Why? Because this is from behind the scenes for the episode of I Love Lucy entitled Lucy and Superman with George Reeves. And this is a fantastic picture. I think Lucy looks great in this photo. Now, of course, with a picture of little Desi Jr. Look at him. He's looking so great. I would say it's more of a candid shot. You can see their dog there, and he's dressed up, and he does look a lot like Desi Sr. Now moving on to this one. This is, I believe, their LA home. It looks like their backyard. I've been to the front yard, or you know, the front of the house. It's changed a bit, but it looks like the backyard that they would have, and yeah, they're playing with their dogs. 
Now, this is a great photo because you can kind of see Desi, and he's a little bit serious. He has gray in his hair, and Lucy is smiling, but this is Desi Lu Studios. I'm going to go on a limb and say that this is uh, Desi Lu Studios in Culver City, or the Desi Lu Culver Studios, because just the way the gate looks like, I could be mistaken, but that would be my guess. Now, this photo is great because I can tell you this is way, way in the future, 65. You can see Lucy, of course, Arnaz, and Desi Arnaz Jr., 14 and 12 years old. Lucy being 14 and Desi being 12. Wow, 1965. That is crazy. This is the Lucy Show type era, I believe. So, yeah, it looks exactly the age that they were when they were on the show. 1965 again. They are in their apartment in the Hilton Hotel in Manhattan. So that's where the bed that we saw. This is a balcony looking out. Look at that view. Again, the same year. All white outfit on Lucy. This is a portrait in LA and you can start to see some age on her, but she still looks fantastic. Look at the little white dress she has. Looking great as always. Now here is great because we no longer see Desi. This is 1973. We've jumped a full decade and you can definitely see Lucy has aged a bit more and you can see Sammy Davis Jr. grabbing her by the arm and Gary Morton, her second husband, right behind her. This is at the Friars Club Benefit. Moving one more year to 74, it looks like Lucy darkened her hair in that really, really, really crazy red outfit. Uh, but she's in costume for Mamie, I believe that is. And it's a chic scarlet gown, apparently. And she has all this crazy jewelry. Look at that. Now, one more year, 1974, you see Gary Morton's always behind. I mean, when you're married to Lucy, I guess you play second fiddle. You have to. Like the Queen of England, you know, Philip in the back that's just how it works lucy's rocking full fur you could barely see her head i mean she is covered in that fur she almost looks like vivian vance don't you think like with her cheeks and the hair i don't know just my thought and yes yeah, she's wearing a full coat this is for the la premiere of mamie so where she started this is 29 this I don't think this is an old folks home, but it kind of looks like that. She's playing backgammon. It looks like there's a bunch of people behind, probably a restaurant. 78, she's got the funkier glasses and the big, big gold necklace around her around her neck. And she's playing a big game of backgammon. 1980, getting into my decade, the decade that I was born. You see her alongside Gary Morton, her husband. And look at that feathery purple gown, of course. Age is getting to her. This is the last decade of her life. And then here we have 1987. This is two years before Lucy passed away. And of course, this is pretty much the oldest she got. She got a little bit more uh, wrinkle just in the last couple of years. I think her health is kind of declining. And uh, you see her as a 65 year old. Oh, no, excuse me. Yes, you see her with um, 65 year old comedian Betty White. Look at Betty White there, how young she looks. She looks younger than 65 there. That is amazing. I believe they were friends. And then finally, the last photo I have to show you Gary Morton and Lucille Ball. And uh, she started wearing all these really golden and black gowns, and I think they suit her really well. They look like a great couple there. Well, thank you so much, guys and gals. I do appreciate this look at some rare photos of Lucille Ball and, you know, the people around her at the time. When the photos were taken let me know what you think in the comments i think these were awesome photos great insight into her life i haven't seen most of them i'm going to be honest with you um so i was really excited to show this to you guys if you want to see more just let me know and we'll see you all next time don't forget guys and gals be hopeful